Hi, and welcome back to iCut Pro Academy, where we help you shape the future of your barber business. Today, we're going through a simple exercise on how to properly mount your blade. Now, if you look at this clipper here, you'll see that the skeleton clipper has a chipped blade. These chipped blades usually come about based on how these clippers are stored. In any event, let's go ahead and change the blade. Now, in removing the blade, one of the things that you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver because these screws match the shape of the screwdriver. So we're going to remove the screws. If you had a powered screwdriver, you'd get it off in a lesser time, but pretty much that's what it is. If you notice here, the outer blade or the guide blade is chipped, but the inner blade is still new. We're going to use a totally new blade because you don't want to change or interchange blades, guide blades with cutting blades. We'll get into that in another video. So today we're just going to change out this blade with another blade. This is our replacement. Same deep tooth, just like this one. And this blade is already calibrated, it's ready to go. Now the key in this whole video is to show you that when you mount your blade, even though the blade is new, even though the clipper may be new or working, there may be issues that you can face just based on how you mount the blade. When you go to mounting the blade, you place the blade onto the clipper, right? This is the easy part. And we replace the screws. And what we're doing is we're turning these screws, but we're not tightening these screws. We're turning it so that the blade doesn't get wobbly on the clipper. It doesn't move back and forth, right? So this movement right here, we wanna get rid of. But we're not tightening the screw. So notice the blade can still move like this, but it can't move like this way. And that's what we want. So once we get the blade onto the clipper where it's pretty firm, like it won't move unless we're sliding it back and forth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the clipper on. When we turn the clipper on, you'll start seeing that the cutting blade will start traveling in the right direction because the way that the clipper is set up on the inner parts, the armature stays towards the left and the electromagnet pulls it towards the right. So you'll see clippers when you turn them on, a lot of the cutting blades start going towards the right. So when you turn it on, you'll immediately see the blade start gearing towards that direction. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to pay attention to the blade, and this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the armature to remain in the middle. The armature must remain in the middle of the gap, right? So more towards, if this were the armature, it should sit anywhere right here towards the middle, right? So the armature is gonna to sit towards the middle and what we're doing is we're adjusting the blade so that we find that happy medium where the cutting blade sits within the parameters of the guide blade. So just imagine this is the guide blade and this is the cutting blade. The cutting blade shouldn't be going too far over to the right or to the left it should be running in the midst of the guide blade. Anytime you go over to the right too far or too far to the left, you're gonna find yourself cutting the client. And comfort is the number one thing that we look for when cutting someone's hair. So we're gonna turn the clipper on and we're gonna pay attention to where the guide blade ends and where the cutting blade goes to while keeping the armature towards the middle of the gap. And if we turn it on, we start twisting the blade so that the cutting blade sits on the inner parts of the guide blade. This may take you a while, but be, being that the screws are loose enough, you'd be able to move the clipper back and forth. So we turn it on. So we find that right here is where the guide blade and the cutting blade actually sit comfortably together and the armature is towards the middle. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna turn it back on to make sure that this is where we want it. 
we're gonna turn the clipper off and we're gonna turn keep holding the clipper like this and we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna tighten the screw now that we turn it on you can actually feel the power because the armature is sitting directly in the center of the blade and the cutting blade is going right to the edge of the guide blade on either side this is a nice even cut when you go over the ears or you do an arch on one side you'll find that it's totally comfortable and vice versa when you go to the other side this is a great way of testing this clipper keeping it on a sensitive part of your hand to see if it's too sensitive if it's going to irritate your skin and do the same thing with the other side right if you get any type of irritation in a sensitive part of your arm or your hand or even your neck you know that this clipper is too sharp and from what it feels like here it's totally comfortable so the next step is to test it on your clients now the reason why this is so important is because these blades are moving extremely fast and if you scar someone or if you use it on someone you may scar the person's skin just by not necessarily pressing but just by moving the blade across the skin so be mindful of how you mount your blades because it can be very dangerous to the client. Now one of the things that makes this tool work extremely well is this product right here. And you can refer to the ProSolute video to get an understanding of what this product is all about and why it works so well with the Skeleton Clipper. All right, until next time, make sure you mount your blades, make sure you keep your blades cool, and make sure it's totally comfortable for your clients because a part of grooming is client comfortability. Right? Until next time, we'll see you and stay sharp and stay professional.